we have here is the new Silver Fire Survivor Stove. Todd Alby, uh, the owner of Silver Fire, has redesigned this. And uh, I'll show you what I found that's a little different. The uh, feed door has got, I guess it would be an insulating, it's, it's double steel. The old one is a single piece of steel. This is a double piece of steel. And I guess, because you can sure pick this up without thinking you're supposed to open it with a stick. But you know, when you're in the middle of cooking bacon, you sort of get excited and you forget all that. And this is the, the difference. This is the new feed tray. It fits inside, easy to carry, and uh, when you're done, you pick it up, turn it upside down, slide it back in there, really easy. It comes with the handles off and inside here. Uh, that's the only assembly you have to do is three screws on either handle. So. Uh, well, let me turn this around real quick and I'll show you how easy that is to do. I've already done the other side. Well, what you do, take it like that and you put a screw through the hinge, just like that, and you get it caught. You don't want to tighten it down, you just want to catch the threads. Uh, because this, you know, this is a curvature, and if you tighten it down, the, the uh, other holes won't be lined up. Uh, put this one through the top, just catch it. That one in the bottom, and go ahead and tighten that one down. And then go ahead and tighten the other two down. Okay, that's what that looks like. That is a nice looking stove, let me tell you. I have my, uh, I have another one of these, one of the earlier models, and I've used it a lot, and uh, you know, it still looks pretty good. Anyway, I'm going to cook something on this. Uh, let me show you what I have. What I bought that fits this stove perfectly, I think it's made for this stove, is uh, a wok. And it fits this silver fire stove just perfect. And uh, I'm fixing to cook some stir fry in this. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but uh, you know, our weather here has just been uh, terrible, terrible weather. Uh, but I can finally get outside. So uh, let me go find some dry sticks if, if that's possible here. <laughs> I mean, we've had weeks and weeks and weeks of rain. So uh, let me see what I can do to find some dry wood and uh, we'll get, uh, I'll see you outside. Alright, I got the stove started. Uh, the beauty of this is it needs so little uh, wood, combustible material, in order to cook with. And again, this stove can be used, uh, you can even use cow dung, dried grass, pine cones, pine straw, any biomass, anything that will be combustible. Uh, <clears throat> these stoves are used all over the all over the world and especially in third world countries where uh, it's harder to find things to cook with or cook on uh, the Marshall Islands is a perfect example all they have to cook with uh, I believe it's palm fronds or coconut fronds and Todd Alby the guy who owns Silver Fire sent an entire container load of these stoves over there to the Marshall Islands heck of a guy all right, I'm gonna let this burn down just a little bit and uh, I'm gonna start cooking. Okay, I had to actually pull some fuel out of there. I had, I had it going way too much. So uh, here's what I'm cooking. Whole bag of shrimp. Good bit of a uh, teriyaki stir fry sauce. Good bit, because I love teriyaki. Alright, I'm 
I'm going to put all my vegetables in now. These are uh, just regular stir fry vegetables. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of fuel. stir fry in there. You can never have too much of that. Alright, we're gonna cook. I'll bring it back when I get a little closer to the end. Yeah, the rocket stove without a doubt is my favorite way of cooking. I think I may have used a little too much stir fry sauce, but that's okay. I just put a put a whole bunch of rice under it. It'll soak it up. Okay, I'm not going to add any more wood. I'm just going to let this fire die down, and uh, when the fire goes out, it'll be done cooking, and uh, I'll plate it up. Show you what we got. I'm going to go ahead and uh, plate a little bit of this up. Go ahead and starve in. Oh yeah. Bon appetit. Well, it was good. Uh, i tell you what, I love that wok. Uh, I also have the Silver Fire Dragon Pot. Hello, Luke. Uh, this is a great stove. I love cooking on it, and uh, I intend to do a whole lot more cooking this summer. And I have both the pots that I need to do it with. Uh, I am going to look for a Coleman uh, oven and see if I can bake on this. And uh, who knows, maybe even try a roast. Thanks for watching. I'll put all the links to, uh, to this uh, in the discussion below.